Hello, and today we have Mr. Jim Onek, who is the creator of amazing healing technology that has to do with lasers. And he's been in the industry for over 20 years. And I'm really grateful that you had time to take some of my questions so we can let more people know what amazing tools you've created that have helped myself and people in my family and my friends too. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for having me on today. Yes. So this is one of your creations, right? And the infrahelos. And can you tell me how did you even get started in the world of lasers? Great question. So I've been involved with lasers for, for many years. It started when I was working in the field of ophthalmology and I was involved with the ag lasers that were used for eye surgery. And from that experience, I learned a lot about laser technology and how they interacted with the body. And from there, I, I worked on uh, some of the optical systems for the LASIK eye surgery devices that use a laser. And I also was involved with developing a laser endoscope that's used for glaucoma surgery. Wow, wonderful. That's amazing. <laughs> um, so many people have, have those type of surgeries and they seem to be outpatient same day and really simple, it seems like, but sure there's is. a lot behind it. It's amazing what the, the technology can do, but this technology, uh, such as the infrahelios, is really taking a different approach, and it's used for stimulating the body's own healing mechanisms. So as opposed to a surgical laser, which is more destructive, it removes tissue, as an example, this actually stimulates tissue to heal and to relieve pain. So these are therapeutic lasers, and uh, so they operate in a different principle, but it, at the end of the day, it's light interacting with the body tissues to get an end result. But in this case, a therapeutic result and a healing result. Wow, yes. That's the difference with the lasers. Some of them are therapeutic, which is what your focus is. And can you tell me what kind of lights are in here? Because people ask me, what, what kind of lights are they if they're invisible? Because when you turn it on, it just has four simple, I mean, one one button and it just has you just press it four times and it's on max it's great it's so simple to use so can you explain the technology of the lights sure i i love to uh, develop products that look really simple to use but that doesn't mean there's not a lot of science under the hood <laughs> mm -hmm. so, and that's the case with this device it seems very simple but it's actually uh from a science principle a little bit more complicated so those little devices that you see, those little squares are called single wavelength light emitters. And they emit light in the infrared range at exactly 980 nanometers. And so you don't see the light that's emitting, but if you put it on your skin and you hold it there for a while, it'll start to get warm. And what you feel is the body absorbing that light. So even though you can't see it, the light is there but it's an infrared wavelength and it's at 980 nanometers. So it's different than your standard uh, LED device uh, that you may see that uh, you know, are sold today. Right. And a common question that I get is, how is your laser different from other lasers on the market? So, Which is kind of difficult to, to compare other people's work, but maybe you just have a general like knowing of what I can tell people. Yeah, sure. So the, the types of LED devices that you buy on the market today, uh, they have a, a broader range of wavelength and not all of that wavelength uh, interacts with the tissue in a fashion that helps heal. It just mm. is kind of ignored by the body or it gets absorbed in the melanin because that's the way the, the wavelengths work at, the, at a little bit lower than the 980. They're absorbed in the melanin. And so, and also they're, they're maybe put in an arrangement that looks like in a round circle, but they don't take any account into what the angle is that comes out of the light bulb or comes out of the light emitter. And so in this particular case, in the infrahelios device, you notice that they're all uniform distance apart. And that is based on what angle the light comes out of the, the LED or the light emitter. So a, a great way to think about it is most of us have LED light bulbs, right? And so if you have an LED light bulb in your house, 
there's an area where it looks brightest when you're looking at it. And as you step away from it at an angle, it gets dim really fast. And that's called a cone angle. And so here, the cone angles all line up on this infrahelios so that the, the power level across the surface is exactly the same. But on a typical LED device that you might get, that's not the case. There's spots of light um, and they're not put in the right uh, physical location so that the light all combines at the surface of the skin. And so therefore, uh, it may not treat as fast or they may not treat as fast, they may not be as effective. But they're all different, everybody's different. They have different wavelengths, they have different color lights, they look pretty, there's all sorts of different types of technology and I don't wanna discount them because they maybe have their time and place. But I can tell you that the infrahelios puts out a wavelength at exactly 980 that's been proven at the cellular level to help accelerate the healing of cells and that the engineering thought went into it so that the power at the, the optical power at the surface of it is uniform across the whole surface area. And that's really important and equates to why it's effective when you use it. Wow, and is this something you created recently? Because I, when we met you, we got trained under, under you for your, for your big epic uh, lasers, that's medical grade. But is, then, then you told us about this one, Yes, yeah, so the bigger laser, uh, I've been working with a long time, and uh, the technology to make something smaller, but get it at an exact wavelength and get to the power density levels that were necessary to help heal, the technology just wasn't there to make it practical uh, from a cost standpoint for people to buy to use their homes. And mm -hmm. so uh, that, uh, we finally were able to overcome that barrier. And so this uh, device I started uh, developing and prototyping back in, I guess it was um, late 2018, early 2019. And I uh, launched it in October of 2019 uh, on a, uh, it was actually on a cruise and they were having this uh, a holistic uh, conference. And uh, so people were very excited about it and very interested in it. And then of course, with all the, uh, the things that have happened with, with COVID, uh, people still were able to buy this and get relief for things uh, because they can buy them online. They can, they can get them and they were able to get relief because they maybe couldn't go see their doctor or their chiropractor. All these places were closed. So the, the uh, sales actually took off and it's, it's done quite well. Wonderful. Congratulations. Yeah. And I heard that you're going to receive an award this week. Can you tell us about that award? I'm really interested in congratulations to you. Definitely deserve it. Oh, thank you so much. So the award was uh, given to me by the, uh, um, it's the International Forum for the Advancement of Healthcare. It's known as IFA. They've been around a long time. It's uh, in the uh, healthcare space. And uh, every year they have a, uh, they give out these innovator awards to individuals and they give out company awards for companies that have uh, brought innovative products to market. So uh, in 2019, uh, the company Epic Lasers uh, that I started, that actually won uh, top 50 uh, healthcare company awards and uh, for MIFA. And then this year, um, I've won it personally for one of the top uh, 100 healthcare innovator um, awards. So that will be what I receive uh, here at the end of the week when I go to Vegas. Congratulations. That's really amazing. More things, more, more things and more accolades are in your future, because I'm sure that at that event, more people will want to know more about your work and everybody's work there. Everybody's doing an amazing job. So thank you for, from humanity, thanks, thanks you for this, because one of the things that um, we've used it for is for severe back pain. We drove a lot last year and the long drives really um i don't say i can't say that it was a hard injury but it did injure my husband's back and with one 30 minute treatment the pain was gone that's awesome yeah, yeah. That's really great yeah <laughs> so can you tell me about how deep the the healing goes in this uh, sure. The, the infrared wavelengths will actually travel deep into the body by, by a few centimeters. So they'll actually go into the muscular tissue. But 
uh, are they effective when they get there? This is the thing that, that uh, people may not realize. So we modeled the uh, amount of light the, uh, called the optical power and how it propagates through each tissue interface. So of course you have your skin, you have the layer below the skin, you have your fatty tissues, you have your muscle, you have all these different layers. And so the light propagates through those layers. If you don't start with enough, uh, each layer you lose some of the light power, the optical power. If you don't start with enough, you don't have enough when it penetrates into the muscular tissue, you know, a couple centimeters into the body, you, you don't have it. And so we make sure that we start with enough optical power so that it penetrates into the muscle. And so that's why you can use this on your, your back. You can use it on your, your elbows or your ankles or your feet. Uh, and it will penetrate into those uh, tissues deep enough to actually have the stimulation effect to help the healing. And what, what are some other um, situations that people can use it? For example, arthritis or some sort of joint pain? Yeah, it, it, very interesting. Uh, when I first came up with the idea of this device, uh, I was working with a pianist. I'm a musician, so I was working with a pianist who had arthritis in their hands. But to, to bring a big laser over to treat the hands just didn't <laughs> seem to make sense for, for this. And I thought, well, there must be a better way. That's kind of what led me to the idea. And uh, so then I developed a few prototypes, found it very effective on uh, the pianist's arthritic hands worked very well for her and got her back and playing the piano. And I also play the guitar. And so now I, I have problems with my hands and fingers. So I use it all the time uh, for that. But then uh, as I started using it in trials, people said, hey, I, can I use this on my feet? You know, I, I have mild neuropathy in my feet and they used it on their feet and it's, it worked great. So then people said, well, why can't I put it behind my back? <laughs> why can't I put it on my shoulder? And so the, the product and the applications have evolved as people have become creative with what they want to treat with it. And uh, so now it can be used on, on really all these areas of the body. But if you have arthritis, if you have sciatica, if you have neuropathy with your feet, this is a great product that will help with all of those conditions. Yes. And I know we have a friend that we loaned it to for over for about eight days or two weeks. And she used it daily because she had broken ribs. And as you can imagine, those are very painful. And there's not much that can be done for broken ribs. But within eight days, she went from a pain of 10 to one. So really amazing work. Yeah, that's uh, interesting because I also have a friend that was in a... Uh bike accident and, and broke ribs as well. And she's been using it on her ribs and it's been very effective uh, for her as well. So it's, it's actually good because there's, as you say, not much you can do in that, that situation. So. That's right. And what is the recommended time of usage? Because it's set for 30 minutes, correct? Right. It shuts off automatically at 30 minutes. Um, some people are more sensitive to the, the light and the heat component than others. That's why there's a power switch and the power is simply 25, 50, 75%, 100% power levels uh, settings. So people, um, you know, could use it for the half an hour, but not more than twice a day. They should try to separate it. I usually recommend just trying it and starting it once a day um, for, for the half hour setting. But uh, some people say, well, I, I, after 20 minutes, I feel like I've done it and it seems to be helping. That's, that's fine. But it, but uh, what you shouldn't do with it is, you know, use it for three hours on your body and say, Oh, I'm going to treat my foot and my knee and my elbow and, and all these <laughs> other things all at once. You should try to separate those out. <laughs> so it's one hour max a day on different parts of the body, not the same part. You could do it on the same part of the body as long as you're separated by 10 to 12 hours. Yes. Okay. Okay, great. Yes. And um, there was something else I wanted to ask you about. I can't remember right now. I think that might be almost it. Do you have anything else that you think we could, we could add to? Sure. So, you know, our company's goal has been to uh, get a healing light into every home. That's what, that's what we like to say. And a device like this can help back people off of the, maybe the strong medications they're taking to help mitigate their pain. And so it's, this is a, using natural light uh, to help heal instead of a narcotic medication. 
And uh, so it's, it's very important. And so if, you know, somebody has this back pain and this, this discomfort, instead of going and popping some pills, they can just sit and relax with this on it. Uh, they can accomplish a lot and they'll feel a lot better just because they won't be clouded by you know, the cloudy effect these medications have. So. Right. It's amazing. So in 30 minutes, someone's life could change in 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yes. And I've watched a lot of people change their, their lives. I get letters every week is that through an email or some uh, people, some older people take the time to hand write me letters, thanking me for this device, saying how much relief it's given them. And that just is such a great feeling to know that uh, you know, I've been able to help get this device developed and out of the market and uh, come up with something that can truly help people. But it's awesome when, when people give that feedback and write a letter and say, thank you. This, this has been very helpful. Definitely. I love receiving handwritten letters too. Yeah. <laughs> and what, what are the ages of the, those who can use this? How young can they use it? So, you know, from a, an age standpoint, um, certainly you can put it on a young child, but I wouldn't do it for 30 minutes. So not, not necessary. Um, but most of the age bracket of people using this are people, um, I would say 30 to 75. Um, but there's actually one lady that's 95 years old that uses this on her feet and has gotten relief from it. So uh, it, it's really uh, with people more our age that uh, are bothered by the sciatica and uh, maybe working out too hard and all those types of things, this is a, is a benefit. So I don't see a lot of uh, kids using this or little kids using it. I see more uh, active adults into sports and then uh, older adults with conditions like arthritis and um, sciatica, those types of issues. Okay. And are there any side effects that people might see or feel? Uh, sure. The, uh, some people, as I said, can have a sensitivity to the, the light. And as the light's absorbed over time, it kind of creates a warmth. And some people are more sensitive to that warmth than others. Um, and if they're a very fair skinned person, they may see that they get a little bit uh, red, um, you know, just like they, if they go out on a warm day, you know, they get, they get flushed. So they may see that their, their skin rends a little bit, but it goes away once they turn it off. But um, and the other advice is they, they should drink lots of water after they use this. Anytime you use a device like this, you should drink lots of water. But in terms of side effects, uh, there really aren't any side effects, um, you know, for this. So, if your skin gets a little red or you feel that it's a little bit too warm, it's not going to burn you. But it, if it feels too warm, you can turn the power down. And uh, so it's quite, it's quite simple. Yeah. And I don't feel that it's extremely hot. It just feels warm on the hundred percent, yep. you know, using it a hundred percent and almost like a heating pad. Yeah. Most people will, will uh, describe it in the same way. They'll say, Oh, it feels like a, a heating pad. But I can assure you it does a lot more than heating pad <laughs> because the, the heat is the side effect of the absorption, which is good because it's a vasodilator and it helps more blood flow into the area that's injured. So that's, that's a good thing. Uh, but don't underestimate the power of the light because that's where the work is. <laughs> so the, the light is going in there. The fact that you feel the warmth is a good indicator that it's working and, and uh, you can feel it. Great. Thank you so much. Is there anything else that you'd like for us to know about the laser lights that I haven't covered? I also want to do another call with you and speak about. So thank you so much, Jim. I appreciate your knowledge. I appreciate you coming. And if you like this please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and share it so that more people are aware of this, more people can come out of their pain bodies and get some help. Maybe someone wants to change careers and they're ready to do this. That would be a fantastic opportunity. So thank you so much and have a wonderful blessed day. Thank you very much for having me on today.